Yeah, I, it's a bit of a blur to, to me at the moment, but uh, I think I had a, a good, strong kind of start, um, but just lost a bit of control. I, I, I sat on one quite heavily and, uh, you know, kind of killed the race a bit. So it's a shame. I'll have to have a look back and, and see what positives we can take from it. But um, I think I was a lot sharper at the, the front end, which is what I've kind of been waiting for because training has, has come down a little bit with regards to volume. So I do feel a bit fresher, but uh, obviously you have to control that with the hurdles. And um, today I didn't seem like I managed to do that very well. How's the weekend been in general? Yeah, it, it's wonderful. Like it's always, you must get sick of hearing it, but it's such a wonderful meet. It's always my favorite meet of the year. Uh, I would have liked to have given a, a bit of a better run there for, for everyone, but you know, wonderful uh, to be here, and I'll, I'll be here as long as they let me back. So, um, yeah, you know, it's always great. We've got plenty more events on British soil this summer. Yeah. How does this performance play around the training? How are you looking up to that? Now? Yeah, you know, I should be, uh, I've obviously been really consistent this season, um, running really competitive times, but, you know, I know I'm ready to move on from that. And um, I was hoping for that today, but prep's been a little bit difficult, um, so it didn't quite happen. but. You know, I think moving forward, I'm in Birmingham uh, next, so I've got a little bit of time to sort a few things out, and then hopefully things will start to come together. Is that for the Diamond League before the Champs? Uh, yes, yeah, both. So uh, yeah, I'm doing both the Diamond League and the Champs. I think, I think. I'm obviously definitely at the Champs. I think I'm doing the Diamond League as well. I think I have seen you on a list somewhere. Okay, That's good. That's reassuring. Okay, we can cut that out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, of course. I think uh, slightly difficult season to manage, uh, obviously being different from other years. But you know, I'm I'm quite happy with our plan for it, and uh, I'm with a very experienced coach and, and training group. So, yeah, I think the levels are definitely going to come up because it's you know very close to the championship. So, um, you know, we're going to see people I think ready to to go to Doha. So the, the performances should be good. And not necessarily hurdles, but Anyone you tip for us to look out for the British Championships? Um, you know, I, th I think Cameron Fillery, who's in my race day in the hurdles, uh, sadly obviously disqualified here, but he's having a great season. Um, and I think he's he's ready to move on a little bit as well with regards to time. So shame uh, that he, he false died today and didn't, didn't kind of use that experience, that opportunity. But, you know, he's got more races, I'm sure. So at the British Champs, you know, him, Dave King will, will make it competitive for everyone. And. Um, yeah, I think it's great to see this weekend Adam Jamili looking, uh, you know, a lot better. He's he's obviously had a lot of injury problems the last years, but he looked really good. I thought this uh, this weekend, and you know, that whole event is so competitive. I think it's going to be a great one at the Charles.